Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Pisces. So Pisces, of course, watch it, please. Only claim this reading in a helpful, positive manner or not at all. Now let's hit this. Clear and ground for Pisces, please. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Pisces. Pisces, energy is always fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody who is in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how. We're going to help somebody out there today. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Romance angels up first for Pisces. Show me. Pisces. Pisces. Whoa. Okay. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime for some of you out there. I'm working on a true love. Somebody, you're going to be reconciling with somebody, okay? Now, it could be a past life relationship, meaning not in this, you know, incarnation. Maybe a different incarnation. You have known each other before, Okay. So, yeah, maybe, you know, in this lifetime, but it could, you know, you could go back, way back, right? And this could be a reconciliation for some of you. So, that's probably in this, you know, lifetime. Someone from your past is returning to your life. It's true love. This is why. You can't stay away from each other. There could be a wedding involved in this. The situation involves marriage, all right? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Make sure you're keeping it real with each other. With, bleh, with each other. Here we go. All right. Marbles. Marbles in my mouth. Here we go. Temperance. Temper yourself. Sagittarius energy from having and maintaining an inner calm, peace, and tranquility, right? This is about having patience, uh, a, a really balanced perspective. It's about having self-control. The 14th could be of significance. That reduces to five. Something could be happening in May. It's about harmony and moderation, right? Archangel Michael. And it's also about soulmates. They assault me. Oh, yep, that's it. I'm itching. I'm itching. Okay, here we go. Show me, show me, show me. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Okay, here, Pisces. You have judgment. So there's going to be a decision that has to be made. And it could be about, you know, resurrecting something, reconciling with somebody. Because that's judgment all day, every day, all right? This is Scorpio energy. Maybe you're going to be evaluating something. It could be self-evaluation. And there could be, you know, forgiveness involved in this. The 20th could be of significance. That reduces to the 2nd or February. <clears throat> Somebody has a big gothic silver uh, cross on their neck. It's really, really nice. Show me. Show me. Please and thank you. Okay, so look. At the foundation of the situation. Oh, the Ten of Pentacles. That's nice. So some kind of, you know, um, financial foundation, a good one, some kind of stability, privilege, wealth, tradition, legacy, you know, generational wealth, meaning, you know, family too. Ten of Pentacles is a Disney fairy tale. I tell you all the time. Ten of Pentacles is having enough to leave a legacy. It could be a retirement fund. It's an inheritance. Ten of Pentacles, you know, having it all. So what's crowning? What's crowning? It doesn't get much better than the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, the Nine of Cups. Now you're going to get emotional for... Oh, it's the Page of Cups. Okay, so that's the same. It doesn't matter. The Page of Cups, Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. You could be dealing with a child or somebody who's younger here. But Page of Cups always talks about getting some kind of good news or a message. And it's very, you know, non-nefarious. This is, um, you know, <clears throat> somebody who's very innocent. So maybe somebody's going to extend some kind of gesture towards you. Whatever this Page of Cups message is for you, if, if that's what it is for you, you're going to like it. It's going to make you happy. It's a warm, you know, a warm gesture towards you. Somebody's got long red hair here. Now, like I said, you could be dealing with somebody younger or, um, you know, also a child. But um, this could also be you extending some kind of a kind gesture out, right? Show me. Somebody likes to eat a lot of ketchup. Side note. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Coming in. What is coming in that they don't see? Okay, coming in what you don't see is an ace of pentacles. This is good. This is some kind of new opportunity for you. Some kind of new opportunity. Oh, so see, this is what? For some kind of abundance. This could be a new job, some kind of investment, new income, a raise, a promotion. <coughs> Excuse me. Some kind of new opportunity that will turn into long-term, you know, wealth and abundance. Some kind of stable money tree. Yeah, look. 
this is what this beautiful pisces a new opportunity here it could be something that you manifested with this ace of pentacles solid resource in the future something that has deep roots Something that's going to grow cobwebs. This is going to be so solid, whatever this is. It's going to grow cobwebs, meaning that it's going to be long-term, generational. This might be really something, whatever this opportunity is that's coming in for you, okay, to build whatever it is for you. It's going to be different for everybody. It's an opportunity, yeah, like to pass it down to the next generation. And the next, and the next, and the next. Somebody's juicing, somebody's juicing. Seeing somebody using a juicer. I'm hearing El Juicio. <laughs> El Juicio. Something like that. <laughs> All right. Here you go. So, now. Okay. So, you're looking at this new opportunity that's being offered to you like it's a king of cups. You're looking at this like somebody who's emotionally mature and balanced and available and kind and loving and warm and diplomatic and supportive and daddy. You're looking at this person like their dad. You might even be falling in love here. You're loving this. You are loving this. You're loving this person. You're loving this offer. Yeah. What's not to love, Pisces? That's what I want to know. Cancer Pisces is a Scorpio for a divine masculine. And boy, this one is divine, too. So somebody might have, this guy might have long hair. Somebody likes to drink red wine. This is, yeah, maybe you and this person are going to grow cobwebs together. <laughs> That's what I heard, Pisces. Cobwebs. Oh, no, somebody's got coochie cobwebs. Well, this might eradicate that issue. <clears throat> so let's see. Somebody can be named Ray here. I'm seeing Ray. Here we go. Now listen, you go. We've got a Six of Swords. Six of Swords kind of coming out in reverse. So with a Six of Swords in reverse, this is, you know, a good energy. This is somebody who, you know, somebody, oh, somebody might be a little stuck in the past, though. Don't need to get over something from the past with Six of Swords in reverse. Somebody might now, you know, Six of Swords upright is about a transition and moving on and accepting your lessons. But Six of Swords in reverse is like, I'm not getting over those lessons. I'm happy, you know. Somebody could also be running away from some kind of a problem here. In your actual environment. But it doesn't mean anything because the energy changes in a minute, right? The counts is this is what's coming in. So the environment can change any second now. Six of swords in reverse. If you're the one stuck in the past, get over it and move forward. So you could, you know, you got a ten of pentacles. You got a new opportunity here. You got daddy. Somebody smells good. Their family ones are off the chart. This nice sweet offer coming in. Maybe you have to resurrect something with somebody. <clears throat> Show me. And somebody needs to get over whatever the hell happened in the past here. So now, oh, because why? You've got a king of pentacles. Listen here. Pisces, whatever happened in the past, get the hell over it. Get over it. You have a new opportunity for some kind of long-term, solid foundation of abundance. Then you have the abundance here. It's kind of pentacles. Okay, long-term wealth, stability. I just told you, generational cobwebs, okay? <laughs> Here's, you know, this person, this king of cups and this king of pentacles is the same the same, okay? I'm telling you, this is the same person that has water in their chart, and the king of pentacles is somebody very stable and disciplined of good character, somebody who's very protective and reliable, a good business person or very business-minded, excellent with money. Only invest in something long-term and solid, okay? Somebody very down-to-earth and practical and generous and kind, a sugar daddy, a sugar daddy who's very loving and affectionate and warm. The fam ones are off the chart. This person smells like heaven, all right? I'm going to tell you. And they're good-looking. Somebody might have long hair. Somebody might wear a man bun, okay? Yeah. Somebody might have a problem with bloodshot eyes. I think they need either glasses, or looking at the computer screen too long, or something like this. Working too hard. Burning the candle at both ends. Because that's what, yeah, listen, that's what the King of Pentacles would do. Because they, you know, yeah. Solid, solid. It's Mother Earth. It's Mother Gaia. The fool. There's a new opportunity here. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Aries energy. This is a new beginning. You are being offered some kind of new opportunity, Pisces. It's an opportunity to grow some deep roots that are going to gain cobwebs, okay? It's a solid foundation to the Ten of Pentacles here that, you know, it's going to be some kind of long-term wealth and abundance. It could be a business with the King of Pentacles. Maybe it's going to be a job, but there's going to be love. You're going to, you're going to be falling in love as well. This is, this is the Aries. This is a new beginning. This is a new pathway opening up to you. It's, it's fresh hope. It's a new adventure, a new beginning. Here we go. Okay, so let me see. Is there anything else? Oops. We also have the Six of Wands. Listen to this. It's a victory. There's a victory in the house. There's success here. Six of Wands, Aries energy. Again, maybe you have Aries in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with one. I don't know. And Sagittarius and Scorpio is here as the most predominant. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus doesn't matter. The Six of Wands talks about victory all day, every day. It's about progress. It's about self-confidence, pride, rewards, recognition. The Six of Wands talks about, you know, um, good news and success. Having success. People looking up to you, maybe... You know, yeah. 
at the bottom of the top. Look at this. What did I just tell you, the Ace of Cups? The Ace of Cups. Oh, and the sun. Listen, something's going to make you so happy here. The Ace of Cups, this is new love, okay? This is new love. I'm telling you, somebody, this is the opportunity for some, like, real love, okay? It's a solid foundation. So you're getting the Ace of Pentacles here and the Ace of Cups there, Pisces. Look how happy it's going to make you. You could be dealing with somebody as Leo in the chart. Maybe you have Leo in the chart. I don't know, but this is about the happiest card in the deck. This is the one everybody wants, okay? So the 21st could be of significance. That boils down to a three, and there could be, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor here. Queen of Cups, yep, to the King of Cups. There it is. There it is. Soulmate City, Arkansas. All right. I love... And the Ten of Cups. Oh, my God. All right. Listen. My God. Your future is so bright, you have to wear shades. There it is. Love from up above. Now, I gave you all the signs. Well, you got the Ten of Cups, and you have the Ten of Pentacles. So, 10-10. You might want to go put that into Google or Siri and get your own personal message. All right. You have Aries energy here a lot. Water, I mean, there's a lot, and I told you what these are. Um, okay, let me see what we have here. We have 444, 444 megahertz, 444 hertz. That's Archangel's pure divine frequency. I told you 999, shamanic healing of Archangel Michael. On the healing sound bath playing for you in the back, it's set at 192 hertz, 192 megahertz. This is working on our throat chakra. We all know where our throat is. It's about communication and self-expression, overcoming shyness. All right? It helps you articulate yourself better. Boosts your immune system and heals any throat ailments. Sore throats, excuse me, laryngitis, anything like this. Okay? The throat chakra color is blue. The element is sound. And the mantra is, I speak. I speak. Right? Any blue crystal. Blue halite, aquamarine, blue lace agate, turquoise. And there we go. Let's get you some kippers, my loves. Somebody just had, the, somebody got streaks in their hair. Maybe they just went to the hairdresser and got streaks or something like this. Somebody could be going for a tattoo. Somebody's cracking eggs. I'm seeing cracking <laughs> The wealthy man. Yeah, well, when I just tell you about the sugar daddy coming in, did I tell you? Yes, I told you. Come thank me later. Let me know. I want it for everybody. And again, with the fours, okay? Archangels are sending this one, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. The angels are hooking you up, Pisces. The 31st could be of significance and that, you know, that uh, reduces to four, which is April. Or the fourth of the month could be of significance. There might be some travel involved here. That's just, show me. Kipper, show me what we have to tell Pisces. I love Pisces. I have Pisces really high in my chart. And I told you guys, both my daughters are Pisces. So. Okay, oh God, somebody could be passing away. Pisces, I'm sorry. If anybody's losing anybody, we're sending you hugs, agape, love, support, our condolences. Somebody could be transitioning, okay? The 19th could be of significance, and that could reduce to a 10. So the 10th could be significant to October. This person, you know, maybe this person is a wealthy man, or this could be a different thing. Let's just keep going. The 31st could be of significance. I told you the 4th or April, or the 13th, right? Okay, let's keep going. Let's see. So, there's a distant horizon. So, maybe some of you have to travel. There could be travel involved. Somebody might live far away. Somebody might be moving. I'm seeing Louisiana. I'm seeing Jamaica. There might be some kind of a uh, boat situation. Like, somebody might be going on a cruise or a vacation. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing Yucatan Peninsula. I'm seeing the Mayan ruins. The Mayan ruins. Maybe Mexico. Something. 369. 369 megahertz. 369 hertz. The sounds of creation manifestation and your third eye activation somebody can be 91 here 36 31 63 there's sudden wealth all right so here you know where this is going right stevie wonders could see this there could be somebody passing away and some you might be inheriting something here sudden wealth you know maybe somebody's going to leave you something this person might live far away maybe somebody who's wealthy yeah, this, you know maybe it's going to turn you into a wealthy person the 11th could be of significance that reduces to 2 February again, or the 2nd, Sudden Wild, 777, 777 is attracting abundance. Keep going. Show me. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Oh, Pisces, let's go. Anything else in Pisces? Okay, somebody's being fake around you. The 8th could be of significance. Yeah, you got false people. False people, always. The letters S, M, N, C, maybe North Carolina. Show me. Stained glass. Seeing a white feather. Here we go. All right. Now, we got the 15th. Okay. The 15th, the 6th is June. Somebody can be 51. Lovers. Gemini energy. Okay, so this is what? I told you, you're getting love here. I told you, Daddy. The Queen to the King of Cups, right? I told you. So that's it. New love. 
I'm working on that new love. Gemini energy, you're going to make a decision about that. Oh, look, look, it's going to lead to marriage and a great fortune. Somebody's concerned. All right, this could be an official person. Somebody's bringing your ass a gift, Pisces. It could be anything, right? Flowers, love, 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 love. Let's get you um, the gift of love. Let's get you some of these um, coward cards because, yeah. I know that I crossed the line with you, so somebody did that. It could be anybody that wants to say this, right? Maybe this is something on your mind that you want to say to somebody. But nobody opens their mouth. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Show me. Pisces. Thank you. Okay. We have... I wish things could be different. So, you know, there's that. And uh, you were the best thing in my life. So there you go. Okay? If it fits, take it. If it doesn't fit, you must quit, right? Do not force fit. I am not available. Somebody's not available. So that's it. That's the end of that. Over. Show me. Here's some more signs you may be dealing with. Taurus. Okay, the second could be of significance. Or February. Keep going. Show me. Pisces. Pisces, you have Leo. Leo energy. So Leo is number five. Or May could be of significance. Here you go. Now, you also have Capricorn, the 10th, okay? That's October. So, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Somebody could have Capricorn, Leo, and Taurus in their chart, or any of these combinations. At the bottom of the deck, Aquarius, the 11th, which reduces to 2, again, February. Now, I'm going to tell you, we're all doing positive affirmations. So, I'm going to suggest one, but if you don't like it, please go find your own. This is so that when we speak positive words, the vibration of those words will attract positivity back to us. Energy, frequency, and vibration. If you can't do this, then at the very least, when you get up in the morning, before you get out of bed, think of three things you're grateful for. Could be anything. The coffee you're about to have, the fact that you opened your eyes, or maybe the way the sheets smell. I don't know. Indoor plumbing. Here's the thing. That sets the intention for the day. The intention will then be the attitude of gratitude. And as long as you start with the attitude of gratitude, that will multiply exponentially. And you will have more things to be grateful for every day. So this is what we're doing. Positive affirmation for Pisces, please. Thank you, spirit and ancestors. There you go. Today I am compassionate. Today I will reach out and help another person feel better about themselves because I feel optimistic today. And I see the beauty and goodness in all the hearts of every person I interact with. Right. Now let's get you some letters. By the way, we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, prosperity, and every freaking form possible, Pisces. To infinity and beyond. Here's your letters. Here we go, Pisces, you have V, N, I'm doing Vin right off the bat, V, Von, 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 what is that, is that an ice cream, somebody can be on Facebook, you have two N's, yeah, you got, definitely got Facebook in the house, okay, and then you have, okay, and let me get you a couple more, let me get you a couple more, W, T, here we go, I'm Tennessee, right off the bat, VFW, VFW, Facebook, VFW, is A E O to use. And let's, the last but not least is an E. Okay, so here you go. You ready? Tennessee. I'm getting T N N F B V W. A to E's O to use. We love you. Always remember lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God. Karma is real, Pisces. Till next time, love and light and laughter.